Every time I find something in my liquor wall I forgot I had, I'm more appalled by my own neglect, which leads me to a new format. Mini episodes! What, that wasn't good? Nah, f*** it. This is Bjork liqueur. Before you ask, no, this bottle does not have anything to do with the other Bjork. It's just a name, and you can't trademark a name. I love you. Their website indicates that it's made with distilled grain spirit, which is fancy talk for vodka, which they infuse with Icelandic birch, to which they add spring water and birch syrup. Very few ingredients, which to me is a good sign. It's made by Foss Distillery in Reykjavik and clocks in at 27.5%. And it's got a little twig inside. Let's give it a taste. It smells a little bit like wood, a little herbal. Kind of reminds me of yellow chartreuse. This is nice. It's quite herbal, probably more herbal than I expected. It is woody, but it does not taste like a basement. Very slight resemblance to yellow chartreuse, but uh, it's quite good. There's been an explosion in the craft alcohol scene in recent years, and one might become a little bit jaded uh, with all the subpar product out there. This delivers, I like it. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna go make a cocktail with it right now. A few moments later. Not gonna lie, I stole the idea for this drink from Audrey Saunders, who to this day is one of the nicest people I've ever met in this industry. She has a drink from her bar Pegu Club in Manhattan called a Douglas Fir Gimlet that is London to dry gin with lime juice, simple syrup, grapefruit syrup, and Douglas Fir Eau de Vie. This is London to dry gin with lime juice, the birch liqueur, and grapefruit bitters. So, a poor facsimile, but an attempt nonetheless. It's fine. If you want to try it, I'll leave the recipe down below. That's it for today. Stay safe, follow the advice of professionals, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.